everyone and welcome back to my channel well guys today we're going to repaint this absolutely gorgeous Lucille ball doll really when I saw this doll online I bought it instantly because this is such a gorgeous doll this is some Mattel special collection tribute collection this doll is absolutely stunning and what is very important for me this doll really looks like Lucille Ball her face really sculpted to look like Lucille and for me it's very interesting because I really can go for some hyper realistic kind of project I want to try to make this uh, doll really looking like a living Lucille Ball and you know, I think that Lucille Ball definitely deserves me to make a doll of her and not just because she's a real Hollywood icon, because she's a beautiful comedian, because she's absolutely legendary but also because she was, for example, the first lady boss in Hollywood she was really the first woman to run a movie production company when it wasn't absolutely unheard of like women were not even close to these positions and Lucille Ball, yes, together with her husband they ran their own production company and they made for example like I Love Lucy show all episodes they made and also their production company released the original Star Trek series so they were really good in it plus there are some other important things like for example Lucille's husband he was originally from Cuba and in those times it was kind of unheard of to see this kind of a couple on TV uh, a white female with a Hispanic male like oh my god <laughs> like what a shocking couple and Lucille yeah she was brave enough to be with her husband to present her husband to the world and to act with her husband in multiple movies not just in I Love Lucy, they were also in other films together so it was also new for Hollywood oh, really, what a shameful thing, it was not that long ago it wasn't like 300 years ago, we're speaking about, I don't know what 60-70 years ago, really, oh my god, a white female with a Hispanic male huh? oh, yeah. but Lucille was one of the first ones there uh, plus also when she became popular in I Love Lucy show she was in her 40s and it was also unheard of to get a female uh, star celebrity in her 40s normally you had young women and that's it and when you're 40 plus you're sitting home drinking and like crying about your career that is over so it was also kind of she beat it racism she beat it ageism there and also she was one of the first of not the first on TV to appear pregnant, like her character in I, I Love Lucy was pregnant and really when the plot was built around her being pregnant and getting a baby then you couldn't even say the word pregnancy it was also something super shameful so Lucille Ball pioneered in many things and that's why I'm really inspired today to give a makeover to this beautiful doll and I hope I will be able to make her look like real Lucille Ball so guys, like always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new here. Of course, support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Hit the bell button and I'm going to start working. <laughs> So this is the doll from Close. Her face is absolutely beautiful. Here is just something a little bit blue on her nose. I hope it's removable with acetone. Then her hair I'm going to keep. It's all very good. I will just make it a little bit kind of fluffy here on top. And the outfit is also really, really pretty. It doesn't need to be improved, absolutely. Then she also has this book imitation with her production company name on it. I really like that they gave this piece to her. So guys, and now let's do some distraction, <laughs> let's undress her and I suspect it's gonna feel really uncomfortable but we're anyway going to undress her and after this I will warm her head up with a hair dryer, really trying to not destroy her hair and when the rubber head will get soft we will disconnect the head from the body and after this we will remove her face with pure acetone
after the face is gone I'm spraying it with Mr. Super Clear sealant and then after this I'm ready to start drawing. Here by the way are my favorite watercolor pencils that I used to sketch faces on those with fair to medium skin tones and here are also the pastels that I used to create shadows for a very light complexion. So what are the special features we are going for today? We are going to draw thin arched eyebrows, very very blue eyes and red lips that are also kind of arched. I don't know what is the right name for this kind of lipstick application, like this vintage look with thin eyebrows and this little bit clownish lips. And for the rest I will just try to make her look like Lucille Ball.
Okay, here is the face, and now let's see how her hair is doing there. I'm especially worried about the bangs. No, it's okay. It's all restorable, so now let's make it all prettier and curlier and fluffier, kind of to make it look like Lucille's hair. Yeah, I think this is it. It looks really good. This is how Lucille wore her hair. So now let's apply gloss to her eyes and lips and then I'll take a look at the end result pictures. guys and here is the result of this very quick makeover and you know I feel like I've got the same effect like I had already with a couple of my portrait dolls in the past when in the beginning I really think that the original doll looks exactly like the living model and after me repainting it I cannot see it anymore I had it with my Billie Eilish doll I had it with Snape and I have it again today but this is a good thing I think it means I could make this beautiful doll even a little bit more more beautiful, even a little bit more realistic, I hope so at least. So it was an express makeover this week because I've just finished working on two huge projects, Eleven from Stranger Things and Mirabelle from Encanto and I didn't really feel like going for another crazy project with a million of details this week. I wanted rather to have fun working on the portrait doll, drawing the face because this is kind of special sort of fun. If you want to see the video with lots of details, with making a bus cut, with making an accordion, then please go and check my Eleven and Mirabelle videos. Both of them were really fun and this doll will be available for sale for three days on ebay the link is in the description box under this video so all lucille fans are welcome so and that was my doll transformation of the week guys i really hope you've enjoyed it today and if so please don't forget to support my art here on youtube with your likes of course subscribe to my channel hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos and i will see you very soon on friday in my new doll repaint video love you guys Bye!